What about Esther? Fasted. She sought God. She sought God. The, the spiritual must come first. He must have that victory in the spirit first. So it calls for prayer. Prayer. Somebody said, Pastor Chris, you're always talking about prayer. Yes, I was talking about prayer because I, I, I can't think of any more effective way of changing things. That's what I've done all my life. And there's where I've seen victory after victory, victory upon victory. First in prayer. First in prayer. We win in the spirit. He sent us as saviors. He sent us. We look at our world and we see what's going on. We see the destruction in the world. And we have to take action. We have to take action. So this is exactly what we're going to do. Prayer and faith declarations. Prayer and faith declarations. And I'm saying to you, this is the time. This is the time. I, I, I read a scripture to you the other day. It says, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. The set time is come. And I said, it's the set time for the nations. And this is what the Holy Spirit is helping us understand. That this is the set time for God's favor for the nations. And God really wants to favor your country right now. He wants to favor your city. He wants to favor your state right now. But you must stand with him in the right place. And make this happen. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Don't forget it. Resist the devil and the devil will flee from you. Resist him and he will flee. There are things that Satan is planning to do and trying to do in our cities, in our states, in our countries. And we are going to have to say, Satan, no. We will not allow you. We will not allow you. And that's why corporate prayer is so important. Now, when we pray corporately, it doesn't matter what stage you are in spiritually. Corporate prayer has no spiritual state. When we all pray, God answers. We have authority. See, because at that point, we represent the body of Christ. See, we represent the body of Christ. That's very, very important. So when we pray like that, we, we issue decrees and um, based, of course, on knowledge. And that's why you always, you have to have the right knowledge. You have to know what, this is God's will. This is God's plan. Revelation is important. Revelation. Revelation is important. What's God's plan? What's God's plan? Are we functioning in God's plan? Because if you're not in God's plan and you're fighting God's plan, you're making a mistake. That's why the knowledge of the word is important. That's why we study the word. And we have fellowship with the Holy Spirit continually so that we can be taught, we can be trained, we can be uh, informed and educated in the things of God. So remember what I'm telling you. Keep this in your mind. Prayer and faith declarations. 